Can you see me okay? Um, are you ready for another story? All right. Pirate Mom. Whoa. What is this about? It's a pirate mom. Pirate mom. Ooh, she got eye patch and everything. The hypno trans. Arr, said Pete. He switched his pirate sword. I don't have a sword. <laughs> he jumped on his pirate bed. Come downstairs, pirate Pete, called his mom. Pete told Teddy to guard the loot. Okay, Teddy. Oh, he had a teddy bear. Look, he's got a teddy bear. With a pirate handkerchief. And then his, this is his pirate bed. Look at his sword. Oh, look at the hat. With a skull. And this is his parrot. <gasps> okay. <clears throat> this is going to be interesting. All right. Pete ran downstairs. Will you play pirates with me? He asked. Pete's mom said no. Pete's mom never wanted to play pirates. She did not like pay pirates. She said pirates were not polite. Hmm. But she had a nice surprise. Wow, Pete said. Tickets to see the amazing Marco today. <sighs> Who do you think the amazing Marco is? I think he's a magician. You think so? He got some tickets. Ooh, I used to watch magicians. <gasps> I love them. Pete and his mom went to the show. The lights dim. That means they got light on the on the lights. They were low, low, low. So it was kind of dark to make it more interesting. The crowd got quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Marco. <gasps> Boom, a voice behind them. Ooh, look at that. That's amazing. Marco, I wonder what Trix is going to do. Whoa. The amazing Marco pull a rabbit out of his hat. Oh, said the crowd. Look at that. Wow, that's a big rabbit too. The amazing Marco caught Zelda, his helper, in half. <gasps> ah, said the crowd. It was time for Marco's most amazing trick, the hypnotrance. Oh my gosh, look, look. This only a professional can do this. Don't do this. Don't do this at home. Oh my gosh, he cut the system in half. The amazing Marco beat Pete's mom. Oh, no. She told her she was getting sleepy. <laughs> Pete's mom closed her eyes. What should she be when she wakes up? Marco asked the crowd. A pirate! Pete called. The amazing Marco turned to Pete's mom. When I clap my hands, you will be a pirate, he said. And he clapped his hands. It's, oh, no. Do you think he turned, he turned into a pirate? Oh, my gosh. Because he never liked pirates before. Oh, Pete's mom opened her eyes. Arr, she said, I'm a salty old pirate. Give me your loot. Mm. <laughs> Everyone cheered. <gasps> she turned into a pirate. Oh, my gosh. Suddenly, Zelda ran on stage. Your wife is having a baby. <gasps> Zelda told the amazing Marco. Yikes, cried Marco. The show is over, folks. He ran off the stage. <gasps> oh, no. 
He ran out, but he forgot. He had hypnotized. <gasps> oh no, what's gonna happen? Wait, Pete called. My mom is still a pirate. Oh, uh, that'll wear off most of the time. Said Zelda. Oh my gosh. Most of the time, cried Pete. But Zelda was gone. Oh my gosh. I hope it wears off. Oh my gosh. What's he gonna do? <laughs> he wanted his mommy to be a pirate. <gasps> oh no, pirate problems. Pete and pirate mom walk home. <gasps> It was not easy. Pirate mom tried to fight Miss Reed. <laughs> oh my gosh. She called Mr. Collins a rat. She stole underwear from Miss Bird's clothesline. <laughs> oh my gosh. So she she wanted to fight Miss Reed. And, and then she called Mr. Collins a belch rat. I don't know what belch means. But that's all right. But she was going like this. <gasps> and then she stole underwear from Mrs. Bird's clothesline. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. She's going to be in trouble. Look. She's an angry pirate. <laughs> Look at that. Those underwear are nice. Yeah. So she got the nice undies. <laughs> but you're not supposed to steal. Pete was glad to get Pirate Mom inside. <gasps> Pirate Mom fell asleep on the couch. Ooh, hopefully it'll wear off. Pete hoped the pirate spell will wear off. He went out to play. Oh no. But he left his mom alone. <gasps> what if she doesn't wake up from that? Oh my gosh. I'm kind of scared. An hour later, he came home. <gasps> Yikes, he cried. A pirate flag flew over his house. Pirate mom stood in the yard. She wore an eye patch. She covered one eye. And pirate headscarf. Pete's parrot sat on her shoulder. She really thinks she's a pirate. Pirate mom swished a wooden spoon at the mailman. Oh my gosh. Arr, said pirate mom. Mom, ah, said the parrot. Ah, said Pete. The mailman got scared. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh no. She's gonna get in trouble. <gasps> that thing did not wear off. Pete dragged Pirate Mom inside. Pete was really worried. His mom had a job. Oh, no. <laughs> she couldn't go to work with an eye patch and a pirate scarf. She couldn't go to work with a, a, a parrot on her shoulder. <gasps> we need to find the amazing Marco, said Pete. She wanted to <laughs> keep going out the door. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, then she's wearing flip-flop. Look. What kind of pirate wear flip flop? She's gonna fall, trip herself. <laughs> Ding dong! Oh no. The doorbell rang. Mm -hmm. Pete told Pirate Mom, wait in the kitchen. You scurvy lad, I will not. Oh no, said Pirate Mom. <gasps> Ding dong! Ding dong! They kept ringing the doorbell. <gasps> Pete thought fast. There's loot in the kitchen. Shiver me timbers. Why didn't you say so? Pirate mom ran out of the room. <laughs> oh no. There she goes with her flip flop. Oh my gosh. Poor boy. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, a bunch of people showed up. Pete picked out the door. A bunch of people passed him. <gasps> they had come home for a PTA meeting. <gasps> oh no, there was a crash in the kitchen. What was that? asked a man. Oh no, how is he going to say? My mom is a pirate. <laughs> oh my goodness, look. They're like, what's going on in this house? <sighs> oh.
Pirate Mom burst through the door. <laughs> she waved a frying pan in the air. Yo ho ho ho, she said. Give me your loot. Oh my, said the people. Beats are fast again. Mom thinks, <gasps> yeah, Mom thinks you should have a costume party, Pete said. It's a good way to raise money for the school. <laughs> He's smart. Oh no, look at her. With a frying pan and everybody's hiding. They're hiding. He's, he's got a lamp. He's hiding with the lamp. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a wonderful idea, said one of the men. All in favor, say aye. I said the people. I said the parent. Arr, said Pirate Mom. Oh my gosh. She will not quit saying arr. <laughs> oh, look at the parrot. <gasps> I think the parrot likes being a pirate with a pirate too. Marco's surprise. Pete had to find the amazing Marco. <gasps> oh, yes, please. Marco's wife just had a baby. So Pete took Pirate Mom to the hospital. Maybe she can get checked there. He asked a nurse where the amazing Marco was. No pirates, said the nurse. Wait here, Pete told Pirate Mom. Do you think she's going to stay there? Oh, no. Oh, uh, I have a feeling she might not stay where they told her to stay because she's she thinks she's a pirate, so... <gasps> The amazing Marco was with his new son, the fabulous Harold. Oh, come quick, Pete said. My mom is still a pirate. <laughs> he was so desperate. Oh, no. Look at the baby who came with a hat. <laughs> How do you think that happened? They went to find pirate mom. The nurse was hiding under the desk. Pirate mom was gone. I told you she wanted to stay still. <gasps> Pete and Marco heard a voice down the hall. Hand over the loot. Oh, no. She's assaulting people. <laughs> she made a mess of that waiting area. <gasps> Look, she let, even left the parrot on top of the desk. Look. And and, and there is a case hiding under the table. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look, that looks like me when I have a headache with ice on my head. <laughs> I didn't know I would be in this story. <laughs> okay. Pirate Mom was talking to two men. <gasps> Draw your swords, you yellow belly bandits, said Pirate Mom. We're not bandits, we're doctors. <laughs> Pete turned to the amazing Marco. I like pirates, Pete said. It's hard having a pirate for a mom. <laughs> oh, dear, said Marco. I'm very sorry. Oh, no. She's assaulting the doctors. Oh, no. Oh, I hope they can bring her back. Marco snuck up on pirate mom. He went behind her. He told her she was getting sleepy. <sighs> oh, wait. That's <laughs> not me. <laughs> he told her it was time to be Pete's mom again. He clapped his hand. She woke up. Where, where are we? What happened? Asked Pete's mom. She had this face like, why am I here? <laughs> See, we see, was sneaking, and she was like, "Oh no!" And now she's surprised, like, "What happened to me?" Yeah, oh my goodness! Marco turned you into a pirate," said Pete. "Don't be silly," said Pete's mom. She bumped into a wheelchair. Maybe you should take off your eye patch," Pete said. Pete's mom put her hand on her face. She felt the eye patch. Oh my! <laughs> she whispered. <laughs> she didn't even know she had an, an eye patch. Look at that. She tripped. <gasps> Maybe because she had flip flops. Mm -hmm. 
I have tripped my flip flop before. Mm -hmm. The next day, Pete found a letter under the door in his house. It was from Amazing Marco. His mom read the letter. Sorry for all the trouble. Please accept this gift. And two bits of paper fell out. Oh no. They were tickets <laughs> for the Amazing Marco's next show. Oh no, said Pete's mom. Oh no, said Pete. Arr, said the parrot. <laughs> like no thank you we're not going <laughs> the end <laughs> oh, they had enough of being pirates for one day that was a good book look at her oh my patch look at the parrot is going crazy oh my goodness so what did you learn don't want to wish you had a different mommy than the one you have. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. High five. Thank you. Bye. Until the next story. Can I, show? I give you a, a preview? Now, this is a long story. Miss Brown is upside down. <laughs> Now, this one has chapters, so I might have to do this one a little bit at a time. And then I have another one. Miss Meyer is on a fire. This one also has chapters, and it has black and white pictures. It doesn't have a lot of pictures, but it's about this kid, so I hope you like it. It's coming soon. Um, don't know when, but it's coming soon, okay? Give it to mommy and daddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know my own strength. Be good to mommy and daddy until the next one. Bye.